Matt, what a fabulous way to start 2023, ending the uh, unbeaten run of the league leaders. Yeah, I think we knew we were confident. I think the first game we said, we played the first game of the season, we said that a 4-0 flattered them, I think. And the second half where we in that game where we sort of we missed a lot of chances. It was never a 4-0 game last time, so we knew we were going to give them a game, but to hold it to the wire at 3-2, yeah, I'm very happy with that. It's got off to an explosive start as well. He was fading. You haven't played for a while, then you're 1-0 down inside two minutes. It was so important to hit back that quickly, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we we kind of presumed this was going to happen as well. We are players today. They looked a little bit sluggish coming out to start with, and I think it was more down to the fact we haven't played since the 4th of December or whenever it was. And they just weren't prepared and ready mentally in that sense. I think it takes a few minutes to get in gear and go, oh, actually, we're playing a game again. And yeah, we conceded early two minutes, but it woke us up. And that's probably the worst thing that could have happened to them because we then came out flying. And you looked uh, lethal. You looked good in open play, but from set pieces, all three goals from corners. It's something you've worked on. You've got a variety of takers, which helps. We have said all season that we've been quite dangerous from corners. It's, I, wouldn't, I don't want to lie and say, yeah, we practice them weekly, but... <laughs> It is something we have said to players. It's more about your physical presence and how you, how you deal with it. And the players have done it fantastically well. They're alert to it and they're getting the rewards from it. Annie Hervey's first goal we just watched back. It was a moment of genius, actually. She had a back to goal and managed to, to flick it in a near post delivery. And uh, she added a second in the first half as well. She's been a vital presence this season. Yeah, I mean, Annie for me has been superb in the centre attacking mid role. We know Tania in front of her as well. We've been saying sort of creates a bit of space for her. And, and if you give Annie any space, she's going to cause a problem. And we still give her a little bit of a, a ribbon about the high ridge game where she probably had 15 shots, but didn't get one in. But I think she's keep proving herself. She's doing fantastically well. And yeah, again, two goals in the, on the score sheet. And you can't snub that. I mean, she's doing really well. So vital to add that third as well. A bit like Corin Jones in the last game, Ashanti Golding's first goal for the club. You can see how much it meant for her too. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that we say as a team in the dressing room is it is about the team um, there will be players who won't score a goal this year there will be players who get one goal and it means the world to them but the reality is it's just taking that moment of thinking right is it my time is it my opportunity or is it better to pass the ball off and the players are doing that superbly well and that's why we're seeing players like Coran pop up in, in little holes of space and, and scoring their first goal and loving the moment I'm really impressed all season defensively, bar maybe the first 45 minutes against, against Penn Mill. It stood firm. And although they got the second bout, it was a brilliant strike from Megan Grant. And you were largely restricting them from efforts from distance. Yeah, I think that's, I think I've said before, like for me, defence is the most important part of your team. It has come earlier on in the season at the cost of goals. So we were then scraping games. I think today, actually, we proved we can attack the game. I think the two goals we gave away were actually quite soft. So we're not going to sit here and say, well, this is the best game we've played because it's against the league leaders. We have to come away and actually be a little bit critical of ourselves and go, we could have won that 3-0. But, you know, defensively, I think we're solid and we just got to, you know, get rid of the small mistakes and we're going to start seeing the, the results go quite heavily in our favour, I think. And the versatility of your captain, you, Tara Taylor stepped in at left backstage, you've got players missing and uh, she's so, so vital again to this team. Yeah, I think actually... With Tara, her, our original plan for Tara was fullback because of the, how she plays and sort of her attributes, how good they are. Um, but across the season, we've had to deploy her in other roles, and she's never actually played the role we wanted her to play in the first place. And I think again, she's proven herself that she's sort of a dominant force in the defence, but she's also able to get forward and attack the game and add that attacking flair to it. So, yeah, we're just going to see how it goes, but we know she can play sort of anywhere across that pitch. We, have, we haven't tried her in goal yet, though, so we'll see. <laughs> Such an important squad you've got, though, isn't it? Like, Tamsin done it to her first game for a couple of months. You can bring players on and off and bring in Ali Daigutis on for the last 20 minutes or so just to do a job, and you can rely on people to do that. Yeah, I think in some teams, you'd have players moaning about the game time. I mean, Ali's been a fantastic player this year for us. She's not played every minute of every game. She's actually been limited to minutes. However... Today we realised going into the last sort of 15 minutes that the game was starting to slip away in the midfield and we put Ali in there to do a job and she'd done it and we held on and, and kept the result. We did really well with it. Players had to keep their heads as I well. Penn Mill player soon been near the end. Uh, could have had a, a red card actually in the closing stages when you just saw the game out professionally and sort of frustrated them more. Yeah, I think that's football for you. I mean, at the end of the day, a bit of gamesmanship comes in. We, we were going to hold the ball in the corner a little bit in the last few minutes. Um, and Penn Mill, all respect to them, they were desperate to get the result and try and get back in the game. So they are, they were going to start kicking out a little bit and pushing. And I've got no problem with that in some ways. I mean, it just shows how well we were doing to, to nullify them that they were that frustrated. So, 
back at home next week against Bishop's Lidl. It was a brilliant game we played there and managed to run out 2-1 winners. It's going to be a stiff test, isn't it? Yeah, I think the, re- the result say as it is, we knew after sort of like we had a few games, we dropped a few points we shouldn't have dropped. Um, coming into our, maybe our last five games, we look across it and go, you have to be winning the big games. And today, to be the only team to take points off a of pen mill shows how that we're in it to win every game that we're there for. And Bishop's Lydia will be another test. I think they're going to be wanting to push for second and they're going to come here wanting to upset us. So we just need to go in professional and try and get the result again. A uh, final one. What was the reaction like after they certainly enjoyed it? Pitch line, carry it on. Lots yeah, of cheering was, in the uh, changing room. <laughs> definitely some dancing going on in the changing room. But yeah, the, the players, they, they really do know how to celebrate a game. So well, well done to them. Do you join in? <laughs> It'll be, I, I throw the moves out, but yeah, they've done well. <laughs> yeah, well, well said and well deserved as well. Well done for the win. Thank you very much. Cheers.